Character design session, you know how it works. You guys make polls on Twitch chat and vote on them and then the winning combination is a character I will design. Let's get started. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today the Twitch chat have given suggestions and have been voting on a character's race, genre, character trait and weapon of choice and I'm now going to see the results for the first time. Today I'm going to be designing a... Ghost? In the genre of post-apocalyptic. Interesting. This is getting more difficult. Let's add more to it, shall we? With the character trait of sexy. All right. Last but not least, with the weapon of choice of love. God damn it, guys. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Just put laying them out like that, that I'm drawing a post-apocalyptic ghost with the power of love who is sexy, is um a little jarring to sort of absorb immediately. Honestly though, that is the thing I love about these character design sessions, is they always go in a direction you don't expect, and the result has so far always been really enjoyable. So I'm just gonna leap into the process and let's have some fun and get started. To be honest, at the beginning, I was staring at the piece of paper for like five to ten minutes before I could even start. It was such a daunting concept to try and make look believable and even appealing. I decided it would be best to at least start drawing on the paper and trust that hopefully the process would take me in a direction that could help make sense of the topic I had to work with. I realised that a way that I could bring out all of these features in the character without explicitly putting them on the character herself is by putting a character in a scene that helps communicate all those aspects of the character without them specifically being items of clothing or features of her physicality. I think I realised that if all of the features of a sexy post-apocalyptic ghost with the power of love were on a single character design and nothing else, it would look kind of silly. But given the context of a broader scene and something a little more narrative driven, all of those attributes could actually combine in theory to create something quite compelling. With that in mind, I started a new page and divided it into two, and on one side I started to experiment with different extremities of the sexuality of the sexiness of the ghost. The first face looking a little more provocative or seductive, with uh, a little more wild hair and sharp facial features and expression. The second being a little more naturalistic, with shorter hair and a little softer in the facial features and uh, some freckles and a much more approachable expression. And the third being a much softer approach to the sexiness aspect of the character, with a very feminine and womanly look with softer features and a gentle aura with long, elegant, flowing hair. On the other half of the page, I experimented with a few potential scenes that I could incorporate our ghost lady into. The first being her protecting or watching over a young child, perhaps her own or perhaps one that she's connected to. The second being a living human mourning over the grave of what I would assume would be her grave. And the third being her mourning over the loss of the innocence of the world and the chaos that has taken hold, as in all scenes, the surroundings are of a post-apocalyptic environment. I feel like we've developed developed the theme to a point where it not only feels less random, but actually as a story and aesthetic is kind of cool. So I have a few female ghostly designs I want to pick between that I'm going to get Twitch chat to vote on and help me with. And then I have three scenes that I can picture as well. So the Twitch chat is voting and number three is the winner for the character. So I'll be drawing this woman here. And then in the votes for the scene, number two is the winner by just a hair and that is this this scene here with the guy mourning over his lost wife or lover or girlfriend or whatever and she is floating behind him and protecting or connecting or communicating or something. So given the confusion and fear we started off with, with a post-apocalyptic sexy ghost with the power of love sounding so bizarre, all of a sudden with these designs here, with this sort of layout and this way of telling that story, all of a sudden it's turned from something kind of confusing and scary into something really cool and something I'm really excited to jump into. I'm going to be using blending card and Copic markers and I'm going to take my time with this one and make a really cool sort of scene if I can. I start off by drawing some basic construction sketches throughout the piece of the characters in particular, paying close attention to their proportions and poses to make sure they look as natural and tangible as possible. Once I was happy with how they turned out, I went through and sketched a rough environment around and behind them, and then I go through and slowly but surely add detail to the figures that I've drawn. I wanted to capture a really rough and coarse aesthetic throughout the piece, both in the characters' outfits and the environment, but I also wanted to have the focus of the piece 
piece really centre on the emotions of the characters. In particular, I wanted to capture a real sense of anguish on the male in the foreground's face and expression. When drawing our sexy ghost, I wanted to capture those elements that we had to work with, in particular the post-apocalyptic aesthetic, the sexiness and the emotion through her using her power of love without it being over the top. I tried to do so subtly, the power of love through her pose, the sexiness through her figure and the post-apocalyptic aesthetic being carried by her torn clothing. After that, I went forward in creating the line work throughout the piece. I went through most of the piece using a 0.1 Unipin fine liner, which kept a lot of the detail quite clean, but still a nice solid aesthetic. But then when moving on to our female ghost, I used a 0.03 Copic multi liner to really have a very fine aesthetic, something really thin and detailed. I also had to be very gentle and careful when drawing because the figure in proportion to the rest of the piece is actually relatively small. And as you can see, compared to my hand was quite detailed and tricky to get those details and refinements as clean as possible at that small size. I then moved throughout the rest of the piece creating the elements of the environment using some different angles and cross hatching to help create that gritty aesthetic and add some mass and body to the environment without having too much messy detail and I added a very distant city skyline. I wanted to show the environment faintly through the ghostly figure such as the city behind her and the clouds and the ash falling and raining around from the sky. After that, it was time to move on to colors using Copic markers. I did the sky with a few orange and light yellow tones with some light warm grays and all blended with a colorless blender to soften them and keep them in the background. Then I moved on to our male character in the foreground using really dull desaturated tones and earthy tones in general. I tried to keep the whole piece really quite warm in nature to help contrast with what would eventually be the blue of our ghostly female character. The majority of the piece, in particular the environment and foreground, were done with greys and browns, sometimes mixing the two to create a desaturated earthy grey tone. And our ghostly main character was done with really light blues and then slowly layering a few slightly stronger blues all throughout, mixing with a colourless blender to really soften that blend and create an ethereal glow. After that I went through and added my final touches such as some edge lighting on our foreground character and a few little refinements here and there with a 0.2 fine liner around some edges and some highlights with our white pen. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, this is my character design of a post-apocalyptic sexy ghost whose weapon of choice is love. Now obviously I fudged the boundaries a bit, I didn't specifically do a character design, I almost did like a story design in a way. I think to be honest if you had a single character that explicitly showed all of those attributes in one character it would look messy. But in creating a scene to help encapsulate the character and make it uh, a story in and of itself. It then gives the character all of the attributes that we were required to include, but in the process we've created this really cool scene and story and something that I am really happy with and to be honest didn't expect, as far as the outcome goes, to end up being so serious or serene or cool. Anyways, before we go, shameless plug, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in creating your own characters, worlds, and stories, and themes, I'd recommend checking out my book, Draw With Jazz, Creating Characters, which you can get at Amazon and Barnes & Noble and all that stuff. I'll put the links in the description. And the good news is, all of you who are interested in it, but were waiting for an ebook version, it's now available on Kindle from Amazon. So go check it out. The link is in the description. Uh, shameless plug over. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to join future streams by clicking the link in the card and in the description. And until next time, time. I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.